So I am planting this bed of zucchini and squash right next to the house because we love squash and zucchini. So I'm planting a whole bed of it and that way I'll have some to give away. Um, this is attacked in my area very aggressively by those white moths that look like white butterflies that fly around during the day. Uh, they, their larvae are called, commonly called cucumber worms and they get into spaghetti squash, they get into all the zucchini and cucumbers. So I have to be careful to be able to protect them. So I have row covers that I can cover these with as soon as I see a little bit more growth on them. And I'm excited because hopefully we'll have zucchini this year because we didn't have any last year. Anyway, let me get going on this. So I have packets of seeds that someone saved and she said she didn't have any bees last year so she had to hand pollinate all of her zucchini and squash. So I definitely wanted some because she knew what variety she planted but she lost track of them when she put them in the bags. So this is how these uh, seeds came to me which I think is great. There's one that says Desi Squash. And then we have one, number one, number two, number three, round zucchini. And we have number one, number two, number three, long zucchini, which I think is fabulous because I, I would do something like that. I probably have done something like that in the past. You know what I mean? Seed saving is not complicated, but it is um, something that you have to stay organized with, I think. Not super organized, it, so I wouldn't not do it, but uh, it is, you do, there is some keeping track of things, especially if you're saving this many varieties. I mean, that's seven varieties of squash and all the seeds look the same. I totally understand how she lost track. <coughs> all right, so this is the last row across that I planted. And I want each of the rows to be about one foot apart. I'm planting, one, this is a four foot bed. I'm planting one, two, three, four rows of plants. And I'm doing that because I am not expecting them all to come up, okay? So I'm expecting to have uh, more space in here than I'm actually planning for and I personally find that when you're trading seeds with other people that and even when you buy seeds in bags sometimes that's the case now I'm direct seeding the squash and zucchini so I'm not starting it inside which means I don't know for sure which of these are gonna come up and I am very excited about getting these in the ground and I'm probably going to end up adding a few to the bed over there where some of the seeds I planted on. I planted all that stuff in that bed on January 5th. As a matter of fact, I planted everything in this bed on January 5th. Now, this, interestingly enough, is almost all radish that I didn't expect to come up. <laughs> because it's seed that I saved. And I just didn't have a lot of confidence when I planted it that it was all going to come up so I just scatter sowed the whole thing but it has ended up being a good thing because my daughter has decided she wants to be a vegetarian and she's been eating a ton of radish leaves we love these we cook them we eat them fresh in salads I mean it especially when they're young and keep, having them so densely planted kind of keeps them on the immature side and somehow there's some broccoli seeds in there too because you can see a few of them flowering behind me but you can eat broccoli flowers too if you didn't know that they to me they taste better than broccoli and around here broccoli doesn't form big heads so if you don't pick it when it's little you don't get regular broccoli so I almost I can't predict when the broccoli needs to be picked yet here. That's something I'm still learning. I wasn't even going to plant broccoli this year, so I don't know where the broccoli seeds came from, but they got in there. <laughs> they weren't planted there last year. 
All right, so this Desi squash I have to plant, and I think I think I'm gonna have maybe room for four rows here. Probably not, but what I'm gonna do I think is plant all of the round varieties here, and I will plant the long varieties somewhere else. That will help me keep organized. And the reason I'm setting the rows up like this is because I want to have three lines of drip line going through here. And I'm going to put the drip line in later. It's going to rain today, so which is one of the reasons I'm planting these. There's no point in putting the, or worrying about the drip line right now. I just want the plant started, which I think is fabulous. And it's supposed to start raining at 3 o'clock today and rain through tomorrow morning, I think. So these are gonna get a good amount of rain, these seeds. And that's about how much these got last week when I planted them. They got rained on immediately because I do try to do that, plant things right before the rain. I mean, why not let God help us out? I think it's fantastic. All right, so we're gonna go Desi squash, round number one, round number two, and round number three. A lot of people say you should make your raised beds three feet apart because it's easier to weed them and everything and you don't have to walk around to get to both sides, but that takes more, or not three feet apart, but three feet wide. That takes more space. I don't know. This seems a lot more efficient to me. I'd rather just walk around because I got to turn around and work on the bed behind it anyway. So I'm going to have to walk around no matter what. But you have to do what works best for you. I really like these being minor foot and a half apart probably. I really like them this close because I can um, sit down like I'm doing now working on the beds and still easily reach half of this bed. You know what I mean? Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do on this side is put the row in that I just kind of tossed the seed in. Dig the holes, pop the seeds in. I already did these two. And then I'm just going to cover them up and make sure I pat the soil on top of them. That's important because you want to make sure they have good contact with the soil. It helps them to germinate and not to unnecessarily air prune themselves because we don't want that to happen. So I have Desi squash, round zucchini number one, round zucchini number two, and round zucchini number three. And then I have just regular old zucchini and squash right in here and peas on both sides by the little trellises I found. So what my daughter doesn't know yet is that I have to turn this bed over. <coughs> I think I'm going to be planting potatoes and asparagus in that bed. I already have asparagus growing somewhere else, but it's not in a place that's protected enough for it to stay weed free. So what I need to do is get the asparagus out of there and move it over here where I can control the weeds and do something else over there. Because like with the asparagus in the ground already, I can't put a ground cover down or anything. So they're up now. We had I didn't harvest any this year. I just let them come up so I could see where they all are. And I'm going to move them over here. I don't, I'm not going to move them all over here today though. Um, so what I'm going to do right now, I think, is go ahead and pull half of this bed oh, she's gonna be heartbroken when I do that 
but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna take it inside. We'll eat it for lunch and probably some for dinner too. I'll put it in um, like a water, like flowers. I'll put it in water so it stays good until tonight. That is one thing I have found with this, um, radish leaves. They wilt pretty fast. So if you don't have plans for them, you're gonna end up with a problem. If you plan to use them in the evening and you're picking them in the middle of the day, you know what I mean? And we eat them a lot, so I wanna make sure that we get the bang for the buck, if you know what I mean. show you the potatoes I have. This is a bag of mini potatoes that grew through the little, whoops, that grew through the little bag. I don't know if you can see the little bag still attached. I'm going to plant them and see what happens. And then I also have a few full-size potatoes that are sprouting. I'm just going to plant the whole potato. I'm gonna sit these all out where I plan to put them. And I'm sure they'll be too intensely planted and that's okay, because I'm gonna run drip here and I'll have to fertilize it. So what I'm gonna do right now is dig like six inches down if I can. So pretty far, I mean, that's like up to my hand probably. So I'm just gonna scoop it out with one hand and put it in with the other and see how fast I can do this. And make sure that the eye is facing up. Well, guys, that's really it for today. I think I might have been out here for an hour and a half-ish um, getting everything done. I planted half of a bed and then one plant in another bed and then I harvested half of a bed and replanted that. So I really didn't do that much but it feels good to get out and just be in nature for a little while. I needed to do this today. And Lucy's already fed all the animals and given them water, so we're set. It can start raining, and God, we're ready for the blessings of rain that God is about to send down. Isn't that an interesting lesson? Are you ready for the blessings that God is ready to give you? That's something to think about, I think. Well, you guys have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow.